Chapter 3, The Sealing At the commencement of the Holy Sabbath, January 5, 1849, we engaged in prayer with Brother Belden's family at Rocky Hill, Connecticut, and the Holy Ghost fell upon us. I was taken off in vision to the most holy place where I saw Jesus still interceding for Israel. On the bottom of his garment was a bell and a pomegranate. Then I saw that Jesus would not leave the most holy place until every case was decided either for salvation or destruction, and that the wrath of God could not come until Jesus had finished his work in the most holy place, laid off his priestly attire, and clothed himself with the garments of vengeance. Then Jesus will step out from between the Father and man, and God will keep silence no longer, but pour out his wrath on those who have rejected his truth. I saw that the anger of the nations, the wrath of God, and the time to judge the dead were separate and distinct, one following the other. Also, that Michael had not stood up, and that the time of trouble, such as never was, had not yet commenced. The nations are now getting angry, but when our high priest has finished his work in the sanctuary, he will stand up, put on the garments of vengeance, and then the seven last plagues will be poured out. I saw that the four angels would hold the four winds until Jesus' work was done in the sanctuary, and then will come the seven last plagues. These plagues enraged the wicked against the righteous. They thought that we had brought the judgments of God upon them, and that if they could rid the earth of us, the plagues would then be stayed. A decree went forth to slay the saints, which caused them to cry day and night for deliverance. This was the time of Jacob's trouble. Then all the saints cried out with anguish of spirit and were delivered by the voice of God. The 144,000 triumphed. Their faces were lighted up with the glory of God. Then I was shown a company who were howling in agony. On their garments was written in large characters, Thou art weighed in the balance and found wanting. I asked who this company were. The angel said, These are they who have once kept the Sabbath and have given it up. I heard them cry with a loud voice, We have believed in thy coming and taught it with energy. And while they were speaking, their eyes would fall upon their garments and see the writing, and then they would wail aloud. I saw that they had drunk of the deep waters and fouled the residue with their feet, trodden the Sabbath underfoot and that was why they were weighed in the balance and found wanting. Then my attending angel directed me to the city again, where I saw four angels winging their way to the gate of the city. They were just presenting the golden card to the angel at the gate, when I saw another angel flying swiftly from the direction of the most excellent glory, and crying with a loud voice to the other angels, and waving something up and down in his hand. I asked my attending angel for an explanation of what I saw. He told me that I could see no more then, but he would shortly show me what those things that I then saw meant. Sabbath afternoon, one of our number was sick, and requested prayers that he might be healed. We all united in applying to the physician who never lost a case, and while healing power came down and the sick was healed, the Spirit fell upon me and I was taken off in vision. I saw four angels who had a work to do on the earth and were on their way to accomplish it. Jesus was clothed with priestly garments. He gazed in pity on the remnant, then raised his hands and with a voice of deep pity cried, My blood, Father, my blood, my blood, my blood. Then I saw an exceeding bright light come from God who sat upon the great white throne, and was shed all about Jesus. Then I saw an angel with a commission from Jesus swiftly flying to the four angels who had a work to do on the earth, and waving something up and down in his hand, and crying with a loud voice, Hold, 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 until the servants of God are sealed in their foreheads. 
I asked my accompanying angel the meaning of what I heard and what the four angels were about to do. He said to me that it was God that restrained the powers and that he gave his angels charge over things on the earth, that the four angels had power from God to hold the four winds, and that they were about to let them go. But while their hands were loosening, and the four winds were about to blow, the merciful eye of Jesus gazed on the remnant that were not sealed, and he raised his hands to the Father and pleaded with him that he had spilled his blood for them. Then another angel was commissioned to fly swiftly to the four angels and bid them hold until the servants of God were sealed with the seal of the living God in their foreheads.